Good morning guys, quite early I might add. It's currently 5 something a.m. and we're here to catch a sunset. Sunset, sunrise, early like I said. <laughs> Today we're in uh, Lake Kawaguchiko, Fuji area. Uh, I wanted to come here to make a beautiful video of autumn foliage for you guys. So yeah, we'll be going around the lake and some of the famous beautiful spots there are to see. Um, I think we're quite spot on when it comes to uh, the foliage colors right now. So yeah, if you wanted to see something beautiful today, stick throughout the video. We're now the Maple Tunnel, that's how it's called, because it's a tunnel made of maple trees, momiji trees. So yeah, and this is actually the spot where you can get, uh, or at least one of the spots you can get the Mount Fuji frame by uh, the momiji trees, the red trees, so unfortunately it's cloudy right now, but we'll still take a shot. Doesn't matter, it's beautiful anyway. And then eh, we'll be moving on. Let's take a quick shot. And everyone's trying to take the tree there, but I spotted one. Actually, this is, this is pretty steep. I spotted one there, oh, actually there's already a guy down here that looks, that one there. Oh, actually, this one here could be good as well. I think there's less people and it's actually gonna do a better shot. But of course, Fujisan still has its big hat, so <laughs> it's not gonna be the shot. But anyway, let's try this. Yeah, I'll probably grab a cup of coffee now. And a bit later, I'll jump uh, by the hotel, pick up the rest of my stuff, and yeah, we'll keep moving forward. And while I'm here, I wanted to show you this thing I just found, so <laughs> you should check this out. I reckon this thing in the middle is supposed to be Fuji-san, the Mount Fuji. And if you don't know, there are five lakes surrounding uh, Fuji. And I think these guys are the lakes. <laughs> check this out. One, two, three, four, and five in the back there. It's probably overexposed right now, but anyway, check this out. This is our lake today, Kawaguchiko Lake. There even is the bridge here. How cute is this? <laughs> All right. Anyway, guys, I'll carry on. See you in a bit. This park is called Yagisaki Park. Uh, yeah, I basically had the 
people are arriving now, but I had the, the, the whole park all to myself, so that was just amazing. I think it's probably a bit less popular, but it's super nice, so I definitely recommend you check it out. Um, anyway, let's go to our next spot. Let's go. All right, and we're just leaving the hostel now. I picked up my bag. I'll take one minute to tell you where we stayed because I found this hostel to be great, great value. Uh, so it's called 1989, 1989, sorry, 1989. It's located on this strip here. I don't know if you can see uh, the big Toby gate. Um, there's massive gates you can find in the in the temples usually it's located on this street so down this street there is where you can take this photo that will be on the screen now uh, of Fujisan up the main street in this Fuji Yoshida town uh, yeah it's one of the very famous photogenic spots here so location is great and apart from that um, it's a very very modern Japanese style hostel uh, with very clean facilities we had coffee for free uh, clothes, washer, dryer, all that stuff for free as well and the rooms is, was very spacious uh, and it was only 5,000 yen which equals roughly to $50 so it's a bargain basically really really cheap great service uh, they have a very nice rooftop as well where you have a nice Fujisan view so yeah if you're in the area they have free parking too uh, this is definitely one good option for you guys if you want to look it up, hostel, what's that? 1880, 1889. Jesus, I can't manage this. So yeah, right now Fujisan is still wearing its big cloud hat. So we're not going to bother taking the shot because it's not going to be as nice as the ones we took before. And we'll be moving on to the pagoda and see the sky tori. So once again, one of those big gates there's one that's kind of on top of a small mountain with Fujisan in the background we're gonna go and check this out I've never been before I've seen it plenty of times on Instagram it looks really really dope so I really want to see it and share it with you guys let's go just stop for a quick snack not the worst spot if you ask me pretty decent snack well it looks like someone else is snacking in there what is this mm. Alright, so we've arrived. I tried to fly the drone through the forest there and do a, a nice arrival here, but yeah, didn't go too well, so maybe that won't be in the video. Anyway, you probably can see right up there. I do maybe a crop of this as well, but right there is the Tory Gate. So yeah, that's where we're going now. Alright, we've just arrived at the top of the mountain at the Sky Tori, Tenkuno Tori. And actually, I had to buy a, a pass to be allowed to take photos and videos, so there's that to be aware of. But it was just like 500 yen, it's not too expensive. And this is what you get for that price. Pretty amazing, if you ask me. So right before we leave, there was this bridge here, actually, that looked pretty nice. So I was wondering what's at the end of it. Came here and guess what? Super random, unrelated. What the hell? But... <laughs> I don't know if you can see that. I'll do a dirty zoom in post, but this is Excalibur. Excalibur? I don't know how you call that guy. Basically the sword, right? <laughs> That's so random, but if ever you want to test your strength, then yeah, you can go make a nice prayer and come back here, see if it worked and test your strength. Very random, but yeah, across the bridge. All right, so we just arrived at the pagoda. 
going up to uh, the actual temple or pagoda, I don't know, uh, involves a lot of stairs, like really a lot of stairs. Also, do not come here on a weekday because you'll be lining up the stairs for like eternity, basically. Uh, so crowded, do not do it. I've done it before, deeply regret it. I'll never come back again on a weekend. Did I say weekday before? Don't come on weekend, come on weekdays. So yeah, we'll be going up to the pagoda. Uh, probably much better than the one we saw before. I found it overall a bit gimmicko. Uh, also, I had to pay 500 yen because I had a camera only to line up behind people taking photos for free with their smartphones, which I found a bit, I don't know, debatable, I don't know. All right, anyway, let's get cracking because we've got a lot of stairs to do. Not only the stairs are really steep, but Apparently there are bears as well, potentially, so... that and here we go and will you have it they're doing constructions so there's no going up there that's pretty terrible they're gonna make a deck like this I don't know if you can see like, it used to be just dirt, nature basically, and people would go up there and just like take photos. It was definitely packed and now there's going to be more space. But it's definitely going to be less charming, I suppose so. The end of an era. Anyway, at least you still got the view at the top. This is accessible and this is pretty wonderful. So it's still worth the trip in my opinion to see this view. Let's take a few snaps and go back down the stairs. And we'll go eat. This is pretty delicious. It's Taiwan ramen. <laughs> what did I have last night? Taiwan ramen. <laughs> oh well. Onigiri. Salmon onigiri. <laughs> we're at the illumination uh, of the maple corridor behind us it's actually super super nice uh, we'll take a stroll through it to show you what it's like and maybe take a few photos but I don't know if you can see 
it's actually really really packed with people taking photos lining up to take photos basically so i don't think there's any opportunity to get some cinematic shots or really nice photos anyway so we just you know go and enjoy and you can definitely see how beautiful it is anyway so yeah we do that well actually before we do that i went ahead and got some kinoko jiru oh my god dangerous or mushroom soup it's freaking delicious so so good and it's really cold right now and this is really hot so we warm up with these and then yeah we take a stroll uh, in the street it's all lit up it's very beautiful guys that's it for today like I said at the beginning this was my first time doing this type of running gun food vlog video and yeah I was all over the place it was very difficult but nonetheless I really enjoyed it so I'm gonna do more and more of these um, in other great locations to beautiful locations I've already got the next one planned out I'm not gonna say where it is now in case it changes or something happens and I don't know but more than likely I'll do it uh, within the next month or so so if you look forward to that please don't forget to subscribe to see more in the meantime please give this video a like if you liked it so that more people can discover it and yeah guys thank you so much for watching please if you have any thoughts about this any comments anything let me know in the comment section and I'll see you next time thank you so much peace Ha, 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 ha.